Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Hunsky. I talk about racing so you don't have to. And today we're going to do a quick video on why top fuel dragsters use nitromethane instead of regular gasoline. Now, if you didn't know, top fuel dragsters in the NHRA and funny cars use nitromethane, which is a different type of fuel. You can tell the difference mostly because of the sound and the power created. But to start off and get a basis on the different types of fuels, we're going to start out with octane. Now this is octane. This is in most fuels that go in your car from the gas pump. Octane is often mixed with ethanol, but the molecule by itself has 47.9 megajoules per kilogram. Now if you don't know what that is, that's basically the amount of power or the amount of energy that's inside the molecule and ready to be burned and create power in an engine. And this will all make sense later. Moving on, next we have ethanol. Now a lot of race cars and performance cars use ethanol blended gasolines and when I say that I mean a higher blend of ethanol such as E85 which is 85% ethanol. You can tell an ethanol molecule because it sort of looks like a dog if you can see in the top right corner. Now as you can tell this has 26.4 megajoules per kilogram which is actually quite a lot less power and this is often why it's blended into gasolines because it is a little bit cleaner and it's cleaner to produce but it does provide a lot less power. And then finally, nitromethane, which has even less power in it at 11.6 megajoules per kilogram. But there's something very important that nitromethane has, which the other molecules don't. These are the molecules pretty much sized up. As you can see, octane is a big chain hydrocarbons. But ethanol is around the same size as nitromethane. But the important thing to look at is the red molecules. Those are oxygen. Octane has no oxygen in it. So you have to blend it with oxygen, most likely from the air, to create power. Now ethanol does have one oxygen molecule, but nitromethane has two oxygen molecules. Because of this, and because it's smaller than octane, you can fit more nitromethane molecules into a cylinder, and you need less air to get it to ignite and create power. Now it is less efficient because you're basically using more fuel and cramming it in, but you're getting more bang for your buck because you can cram more in than octane or ethanol. Now there's other different types of fuels such as methanol, but we'll go into those in a later date. I hope this helps you guys understand a little bit better why cars that need a ton of power really quick such as top fuel dragsters use nitromethane, while other cars such as stock cars which need a lot of power but over a long time and don't need to consume as much fuel usually use an octane ethanol blend. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope this helped you out. All the links are in the description below. If you liked the video, drop a like, subscribe if you want, and as always, have a good day.